Hey guys, how do you like Doja Cat's new album? I would really like to know what you guys think, like genuinely, because I have mixed feelings about it. I mean, who am I, right? But... and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're going to be doing a get ready with me for school this is a soft glam school look i did my hair so we got the hair going before we get started please be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on my socials i do post there comment down below if you're excited to go back to school and if you are going in person or if you're doing remote learning i'm doing remote learning but i still wanted to film this get ready with me because i haven't filmed a get ready with me in a really long time got my spray bottle we're not gonna do sections today cuz I'm in a rush <laughs> I actually have class starting at 10 to 9 45 right now so I'm just gonna kind of show y'all the basics cuz you have seen me do my hair a million times I'm a so senior I was gonna say sophomore I'm a senior in college now and feels weird this one is the sultanicals slip and slide tropical hair glide so i don't know if you guys have seen me use this on my channel before i feel like i've done videos with it or at least i've talked about it on my channel but i love sultanicals like they just work so well with my hair they a lot of their products have, have like so much slip which is what i need for my hair because my hair is always so tangled and like knotted like look at this <laughs> literally and i detangled beforehand okay so it's just always like this my hair has always been very frizzy not prone because i have like coarse hair my college buds you know you got this you know it's 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 hard but we're gonna get through it together for me i'm doing all my classes online because like i didn't want to go back in person because like who wants to go back in person now actually a lot of people do but like not me because i have adapted so much to online learning that i just can't go back to regular in-person instruction and not to mention like covid's still a thing so i don't want to be around a lot of people <laughs> look at this difference guys like do you see how tame and like not frizzy this is versus this side it's like untamed after i put in my gel I'll just diffuse it and let it air dry. I'll see you guys in a bit for the makeup part of this video because I have makeup as well. All right, so this is the Zotto's All About Curls High Definition Curling Gel. This gel is quite literally the best gel I've ever tried. My hair hasn't gotten used to this yet, so maybe I'm just in the good stages of this gel, but I like to put a lot of it but this gel does not make my hair feel crunchy or anything. It just really keeps my hair in place and keeps my my curly routine to a minimum because I literally just use these two products, just the Not Proof Glide and this gel. And then I am good to go, so check it out. They sell Zoro's at Sally's. And they sell sultanicals online. They don't have, they only have like a little stock and Sally's for sultanicals. But if you want more stuff and salon sizes, you gotta go to their website. Right now, I kind of prefer volume since I haven't had my natural volume in a long time. So, really glad to see it coming back. All right, guys. That's it. It's looking good very shiny very tamed and defined so all right i'm gonna probably diffuse this for a little bit and then i have to go because i have class in 10 minutes <laughs> one of the perks of having remote classes right if you just hop on the camera whenever so well not whenever but when class starts obviously So I got this Tatcha Silk Canvas Tester. I was ordering online, so that's why it's in this little package. I also got a little powder, the Silk powder. 
powder. It's like a little sample size. Maybe I'll use it, but I'm using a skin tint today, so I don't know if I'll need the powder. You should always prime your face because like it's supposed to give you like a second layer of skin so that you're protecting your skin underneath the makeup. So, ooh, it's cute. It's so tiny. <laughs> okay, I don't, oh, oh, okay. This is how it looks. Nice, smooth, blended in really nicely. My face definitely feels like silk. Let's start off with the eyes first. I only have one brush right now because I need to wash my brushes, but we're gonna be doing something pretty simple, but I did wanna kinda give it like that soft glam kinda look. Like, you know, like the ones that like models and kinda like Zendaya is always like wearing and stuff. But since it's just for school, like I don't think I'm gonna be doing falsies because like I don't know if people really want to wear falsies like I mean for me like I, I told you guys like my classes oh wow look at that concealer that is look at that difference Fenty Beauty um bright skin fix concealer I love this stuff what I was saying was like it's school especially for me like I'm online so like what the heck am I gonna put on falsies for I'm gonna be using the Barbie ColourPop palette i have not used this at all it's literally brand spanking new got the film on it and everything these are the colors i'm gonna be going into like this brown shade right here and this nude shade over here i was watching a ton of zendaya videos and i just love her she's so flawless and she usually keeps the makeup pretty simple and that's kind of what i wanted to do today so we're gonna just kind of throw a little bit of that shade that i the make wave shade light brown right here yeah guys how's your school going so far unless you haven't started yet are you excited what class are you looking forward to comment down below i would love to chat about school and stuff the thing is, is that i don't want this to be like too orange this brown shade is a little bit red though so i'm kind of nervous oh oh that's kind of red it looks so brown in the pan but for some reason here it looks so red all right that's kind of ruining the color a little bit mm. what the heck does yeah that looks super like orange but it looks so brown in the pan <laughs> like look that doesn't even look like the same color like what Fenty Beauty truffle stick save us Fenty please this one looks brown like this is what I wanted so we're gonna just I'm gonna just tap it in my eye All good just gotta do a little more blending I didn't really want it this like blown out but you know accidents happen and this is a get ready with me so like I'm not gonna change it sorry guys the brown did not work out the way I wanted but that's fine the essence long-lasting eyeliner Okay, this is the best eyeliner you'll ever use. No, I'm just kidding. But it is really, really good. And it's literally $2. And it's long-lasting and waterproof. Like, it doesn't get better than that. I also wanted to do an updated eyeliner, like, routine. Because the last one I posted was, like, a while ago. Nice. But, yeah, it looks a little... <sighs> a little curly which I don't really like I like straight wings so I guess I am a little rusty after all what I would normally do is like angle it down and like out which I didn't do this time I angled it more up but since my eyes are hooded it kind of makes it curly if you can see what I'm talking about if I would have angled it down 
it would make my eyes look like more like that. I don't like it. I'm gonna just, <laughs> I'm gonna have to erase it because I'm not liking the curl, so I'll be back. Okay, do you guys see what I mean? Like, I fixed it. I, I had to angle it down so that when I'm looking at you, it doesn't look like it's curly because my eyes are naturally hooded. So if I try to do the stereotypical wing like everybody else it just looks curly and i just don't like that some people like that but for me i don't i just it's it doesn't fit my eye shape so do you see how it looks a lot more like sharp that's why i, I really wanted to do like an updated one because i just feel like there's so many like basic ones but it's not for everybody's eye shape it's just for certain people's eyes i'm going to extend this one just a little bit because the other one's longer now they look even do you see how it fits my shape a lot better it doesn't have that curly that was going like it looked like a u i'm gonna do concealer first i see everybody doing this so i want to try it i'm gonna get a little bit okay and i'm gonna put it here here and then i see they go like this instead they go like this instead of like the um triangle it's like a new tiktok thing i swear tiktok is so informative like i'm gonna do some more tiktok videos just because i don't know like they just have so many hacks it's like it's crazy i'm gonna add a little bit here ah no too much a little bit here a little my nose and then the chin. I don't even know if I did the hack right, but whatever. It's cause like um they like I was saying they you usually do like um a triangle underneath your eyes, but with this you're supposed to like kind of like I don't know make your eye shape like different. I don't know. People are just coming up with like different techniques. I mean it kind of looks the same to me, but maybe because I'm not blending it right. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. The shade is a bit light for me, but also maybe it's because I went to Florida and I tanned a lot because I was obviously in the sun a lot, but that Florida humidity is no joke. Like whoever lives in Florida, like kudos to you. I'm from the Bay Area, so I literally like breezy weather. I have breezy weather a lot of the time and even on hot days, like, it gets cold at night like <laughs> it gets freezing at night well freezing for a cali person so being in florida like waking up at 6 a.m to go to disney world like it was literally hot and humid and i was like what is this and then it's like you you stay up late and it's like it's still hot and humid like it's terrible like i was like how do people live like this and of course we went in smack summer smack middle of summer like i have been to hawaii before but that was just a different type of heat. <laughs> that was not my friend, no. Okay, I'm going with the skin tint now. It's the Fenty one, the Eavesdrop skin tint. It's kind of like a lightweight foundation. Like, yes, it is a skin tint, but it gives pretty good coverage. So, like, I don't know. I'm in the shade 9, by the way. It gives more coverage than a skin tint, in my opinion, so think it's like a lightweight foundation just patting this in and trying to blend it into my neck I look crazy I look like a ghost contour this is in the shade truffle go upward okay cuz I need like some structure. We're gonna add a couple dots. Please, actually a lot of dots. <laughs> nose contour, I've never really nose contour, so <laughs> try it out with me.
colors back and that's all looking very natural I like it we're gonna start putting on mascara I was honestly gonna do this off camera this is the essence volume styling mascara it says 18 hours lash extension mascara with lengthening fibers I love Essence because they have such good things like they have amazing mascara, they have amazing eyeliner, their highlighters are fantastic, like they're amazing. Look at that. And I have literally baby lashes, okay? My face is totally not symmetrical, so and a sigh hey guys how do you like doja cat's new album i would really like to know what you guys think like genuinely because i have mixed feelings about it i mean who am i right but i don't know i just feel like hot pink was way better i mean i really i liked her new album like i'm listening to it now there's a lot of songs on it that I like. Well, not a lot, but a couple of songs that I like. I like You Right. I like Woman. I like Tonight. <sighs> Look at the difference. Drama. One problem though, I feel like people don't come for me. This is just my personal opinion. She talks so much about sex like and like cheating on people. <laughs> I mean, I just said one of my favorite songs is Tonight and You Right, which is both about cheating. But, like, they're catchy, but, like, when I catch myself singing it, I'm like, uh, I'm literally singing about somebody cheating on their partner. And, like, cheating on, like, making somebody cheat on their partner. Like, so it kind of makes me feel weird. And like the over sexualing to over sexualization, like I don't know, maybe because I'm just like a ah! I kind of consider myself like a sex repulsed person. Like <laughs> when I see over sexualized things or like really sexual things, like I kind of get like repulsed a little bit. So like maybe that's why it's just my personal preferences like i know a lot of people don't really have a problem and they're like super cool with it but i don't know i just feel like there's so much more to girls and artists than just sex honestly some people really like sex and they don't care but like i said this is just my personal opinion and but i also feel like just in terms of like the quality I just feel like I can't listen to her album for very long and I only listen to a couple songs. If there's like for the extended version, she has like 18 songs and I can probably listen to like five, which is kind of like, okay, cool. But like, I feel like I can listen to like almost everything on Hot Pink. I don't know. That's just my two cents. I mean, I get, like I said, who am I? Like, I love Doja Cat. I think she's amazing, but I would really like to maybe see a little more variety, a little bit variety of different topics more rap i feel like there's a lot of like pop and like techno things going on in her album which is cool because she doesn't need to be put in a box but like i would have really liked more rap in the, in, instead of just like hooks on hooks on hooks like just hooks you know like i want more rap verses like just a hook that's not enough for me personally personally don't come for me these are just my opinions if you love the album fabulous i really just want to know what you guys think like genuinely brow again it's essence it's a brow gel super simple so they have filling fibers it's vegan nice and these are chocolate brows so for me like i said i don't really like like super dramatic makeup and stuff so i wouldn't really well actually i do like dramatic makeup sometimes but like brows, I've never really been somebody who likes like dramatic brows. So I kind of just like the little fill that it gives me, but not like, see, like it's like a nice shape. Highlighter, this highlighter is so cool. This is the Barbie 
beach party super shock highlighter so it's like their super shock formula but like in a pan which is amazing it's like this look look it's like brown like i don't know not like brown but like a goldy bronze i'm so excited so i'm just gonna take this little morphe brooch and just put it all in oh my gosh sheesh 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 What do you guys want to see? Please let me know because I would love to know your thoughts and your opinions. We have this one, this lippy pencil, which is control. I'm gonna do like a gloss, but like like I said, I really wanted that like bronzy look, and they definitely when I'm saying they I'm referring to like Zendaya and like like um Lori Harvey, like those looks. They just, they look so good in bronze. And honestly, my eye look would have been more bronze and I would have loved to look more like that if I had the correct eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna line my lips though. Oh yeah. And we're going in with this Fenty hot chocolate. This one better look brown because this is for sure a, a brown lip gloss. Like, that's, there's no red. I don't know why it's coming off as red. Is it like my skin tone? I don't know. Here we go, guys. This is the final look serving face serving very much natural glam the the boys will ask for your number at school with this fresh makeup this little toot I hope you guys enjoy this get ready with me but this is the final product the face It's super natural. Again, it really looks like my skin. And that's what I wanted. I wanted it to look like skin. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos from me. And also turn on that bell so you'll know every time I post. And follow me on my socials. I do post there. Mostly on TikTok though, you know the drill. I really hope you guys enjoyed this really natural, casual makeup and video. Um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. My, this is my hair. Uh, my hair is like 80% dry. So it's looking pretty good. Pretty full. Pretty defined. Um, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!